Phenomics is the study of quantification of phenomes, whereas phenomes are the physical and biochemical traits of an organism. The quantification is based on the traits as they change in response to genetic and environmental variances. Phenomic characters are based on external factors of an organism. Methods used for studying phenomics. Several methods have been developed for studying the phenotypic information, but only a few are able to cope up with different data sets generated. One such method is an online system in which more than 3 lakhs phenotypes from a wide variety of sources can be analyzed. Researchers to be benefited from a data stored in a database, two additional requirements are needed. Easy access to the information and a method for extracting only that information is needed to answer a specific biological database. Phenomic databases. This is the Biogen homepage of Biogen database. Here we can get information about rice, maize and cassava. For example, if we click on maize, the genotypic and phenotypic information of maize can be displayed. Here we have four links like germplasm, phenotype, mutant phenotype and genotype. On clicking on germplasm, the 130 inbreds of maize is displayed. For To know the information about each inbred, uh, we need to click on that particular information. Uh, inbred. Uh, then the phenotypic information and genotypic information of that particular inbred is being displayed in the page. The next entry on the Biogen database is a phenotype. The phenotype is queried by selecting the trait from the drop down menu. For example, we selected the query weight of the crop. The number of cops per plant is queried and all the germplasm showing only the weight of the cop per plant is given as the output. The next link is mutant phenotype. The mutant phenotype is also queried by selecting the traits from the drop down menu. For example, number of leaves per plant is selected and the mutants containing number of leaves as a mutant trait are obtained as the output. The next entry is genotype. On clicking the genotype, it helps the users to query the chromosome number, gel image and marker name. The gel pattern can be SSR or RAPD. The example of UMC1484 is taken here. The name of the marker is queried and the output is displayed. With the gel pattern, the location of the chromosome and the primer sequences for forward and reverse primers and the allele sizes displayed. In the Biogen database, next we will be seeing about rice, which is the staple food of southern India. In the rice database, different links like germplasm, geno genotype, proteomics and microarray are present. In the link germplasm, the varieties released by TRRI, Arduturai are present. On clicking on each entry, the morphological and quantitative traits of that particular variety can be obtained as the output. The next link is proteomics. The main objective of proteomics is to assess the genetic variation in rice germplasm for root thickness and root penetration ability and also to define the pattern of gene expression at proteome levels in roots of rice genotypes. Rice proteomics is a collection of 2D gels that are obtained from experiments conducted at the proteomics labs. Each of the 2D gels contain 28 differently expressed spots. This is the homepage of Python database. The information about green gram is present in this database. Both the qualitative and quantitative character search can be made in this database. The query name should be selected and for more specificity, the origin and character should be selected by using drop down method. And then the accessions present in that particular character is shown. For most information, each accession number should be selected. This is the home page of Cucumis that is Melom database. Here, phenotype and molecular marker information are given. 
on selecting the phenotype, the qualitative and quantitative traits are displayed. The qualitative traits are selected and each character is selected. For example, vegetative characters, stem characters are present. In the stem character, stem shape, stem pubis and density are given. Also, in the stem shape, the options like round, angular and others are present. The number of varieties with that characters are displayed. On selecting each of the varieties, the qualitative trait of that particular variety is, give, is given as the output. The information about molecular markers of Cucumis can also be known from this database. UBC 840-A34 is selected and the information about sequence, alleles, polymorphisms are obtained and also a gel pattern is obtained from this database. Next is Ulutham database. It is Blackgram database. Here the variation graphical representation can be known. To know about the specific variety, the query has to be made and also popular varieties are itself given in the database. Each variety is selected by drop down method and the characters of that variety is displayed like year of release, flag characteristics, plant characteristics etc are present. In the graphical view, the height of the plant, the pots per plant etc can be viewed. And then the diagrammatic description of the plant is given and on clicking on each of the parts the description about that particular part is given. This is the home page of Ragi database. This database consists of 554 accessions. It contains a quantitative data of Ragi. There are about 13 quantitative characters. The variation between accessions for characters is represented in the form of graph. The next database is the Dania database. It consists of germplasm information about Samai, Panivaragu, Kudrevali and Tenai. Soy data. This consists of 100 accessions which contains both morphological and genetic data of soybean. It has 14 qualitative and 9 quantitative characters. This is the home page of Duster database. Distinctiveness, uniformity and stability is abbreviated as DUS. Here the seed certification principles, procedures and other information is given. And also the DUS testing principles, procedures and observations are also given in this database. Importance of biological databases. Biological databases have become an important tool in assisting scientists to explain and understand the host of biological phenomena and the interaction to the whole metabolism of organism. It is also useful in understanding the evolution of species. This facilitates the fight against diseases and assists in the development of its control agent. It also helps researchers to identify the variations phenotypically and genotypically for better understanding of the allelic variations. It will be useful to integrate phenotypic search for germplasm, phenotype characters with specific ranges.